Yo. Oh shit, that works. Hey. Hey, what's up, Naran John? Sorry if I just messed up your name, but what's up? Zigzag, what's up? What's up? Man, all right, this was just like a little test thing, but I'm planning on just trying to edit this video. Um, what's good, Leo? Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so you guys can uh, hit me up in chat. I'm just going to be trying to edit this video. Hopefully, like, the sound quality is coming through all right. But um, it's all that's happening right here. Nothing too exciting, but appreciate you guys checking in. All right. Just going to first try and do some quick color correction on this. Um, just going to bring down the shadows. That's not right. There we go. And then just bring up the highlights. Push the saturation a tiny bit. And I wish I could make this bigger. I know there's a way, but. Um, that's pretty much what I'm doing there. What app am I using? This is not Vegas. This is uh, DaVinci Resolve, which is like my favorite. I mean, I haven't used Vegas. I've only ever used like iMovie. Uh, a long time ago when I had like a MacBook, but I really like Vegas. I mean, I really like DaVinci Resolve. It's really cool, the stuff you can do. Um, appreciate it, Leo. I'll catch you. Um, but yeah, DaVinci Resolve. So my idea with this, if anybody's curious as to what exactly, it's just like a short little clip probably for TikTok or something. Um, if you don't follow me on TikTok, if anybody's watching this, I don't know who's, I guess I have five viewers. All right. Um, uh, it's just going to be me, like, but I want it to look like a double jump. So I just jumped off this platform. I jumped onto it and I jumped off of it. And I'm just going to mask out the little wooden box thing so it looks like I'm jumping on air. Ideally, that's my, uh, that's the end goal. Shouldn't take too long, but um, I'll probably find a way to stretch it out. Um, holy hell, I don't know if more people are watching this. Anyways, again, I'm just editing this video really quickly, hopefully really quickly, just using uh, some masking. So the idea is I'm just going to have this blank screen almost underneath this other video, and it'll just look like I'm jumping on nothing, ideally. So I just have to combine these two videos, like this So right now I'm just cutting out this box and the video that's behind it, essentially layered underneath it, 
is just kind of like a clean slate or a clean plate and it'll look like there's nothing in the background hopefully well not nothing it'll just look like it the ground um, Okay, that's the opposite of what I want it to do. So I will invert it. There we go. <clears throat> so this is a pretty rough, um, as you can see, it looks weird. I don't know if any of you can see that. So this is how you make yourself jump high, cool stuff. Oh, Alexander White, oh, this kid. Good, good, uh, yeah, this is exactly how I do it. Just a little, little movie magic. To make this look more natural, I'm just going to go ahead and soften up this polygon, maybe push up the border width a little bit, and then add a slight soft edge. Should look a little bit better. Let's see. I have to do some more color correction or something with it because that's not going to fly. There's a shadow that the box creates that makes this a little darker. Um, but anyways, when I jump on this, my foot's going to get cut off, but you can kind of see the idea of how it'll look. I'll just add some more masking around my foot um, or just keyframe this mask so that it doesn't get cut off or doesn't cut off my foot. So at around right here is where it first gets cut off. Just gonna add some more. I'm. S <laughs> Anyways, let's see. So. This is just an idea I had, and um, I'm going with it. This is just like a preliminary. I might. This was just like quickly recorded too. I didn't really do do too much um, in preparation for this video. I just wanted to kind of test out the concept and see how it looks finished. So I've kind of keyframed this stuff, so now I need to... Um, right. Anyway, so now it kind of looks like, you know, I'm floating in the air. You can still see a little bit of the box. And uh, if I want to get really serious and spend a little bit more time, I'll obviously um, try and give up, get it covered up a little bit more. But again, this is just kind of like a rough draft type thing. So. But yeah, if anybody's on TikTok, um, make sure to follow me, drop your uh, username, I'll follow you guys back. Um, if you don't make TikToks, shame on you. Not shame on you, but I don't know. Try it out, give it a shot. It's fun to get started, I think. Um, lots of cool trends you can hop on. Stuff like that. All right, so this is a very, very rough draft. Let's just see how that looks. Um, obviously there's... Amazing, 10 out of 10. It would have probably been nicer if I had jumped off quicker. Um, or something but uh, yeah now I have to figure out how to get this shadow 
eliminated and kind of match these grays together because I'm seeing a bit of a difference uh, in like shade or color. Uh, I might just try and stretch this out like that. And that doesn't look terrible, but. Still definitely see I'm on top of something. Can I add some motion blur to this? Probably won't do too much, but might not do anything besides just make it harder for my computer to compute or process this, but we'll see. Man, that's literally pretty much it. And then ideally, I step out of the frame, and then it can just loop as I come back in. Oh shit, I didn't walk into it. Um, Never used TikTok since it's born. You got to. Or you have the. Aren't you on uh, Douyin? Is it called? I have a uh, Kieran. It says message retracted. I don't know what that means. I don't know if you said something bad in the chat. But uh, oh no, Doctor Medicine. I'm editing in DaVinci Resolve. It's the best editor. I'm using the free version. Otherwise, it's three hundred dollars, which I very might well uh. <clears throat> try and pay for eventually to help like render render videos faster but I'm very 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 happy with the uh, with the free version have you ever heard of AMVs I have never heard of AMVs I have no clue what AMVs are feel free to uh, educate me And your foot looks unnatural still, yeah. It's gonna be hard. I think the thing that I was jumping on, if you look at, yeah, this box, I almost, this was a terrible, this is very sketchy to be jumping on. There's not even like a flat platform, there's a hole in the middle of it. Um, and my heel sunk through, I could have easily just, I mean, I, that was foolish of me to even try. Can you still use your student ID to use uh, Premiere uh, or After Effects? I don't think so but I mean I've, I've been using DaVinci Resolve since like 2018 um, and I don't think I could I don't think I could leave, leave it anime music videos huh I don't think I've really seen any anime music videos I am watching uh, Naruto right now it's pretty lit I love it I'm on like season three though and uh, what just happened What's going on in the show right now? Oh, they're doing the, uh, it's like the last, the last part of like the tuning exams. And uh, Sasuke hasn't shown up to like that, that final match. I think he was supposed to be fighting, um, is it Gara? I don't know. I feel like he's supposed to be fighting Gara. Here in AMV, lovely, and watch my latest edit and rate it. Oh, is it gonna? Am I am I gonna break some rules if I watch some certain stuff? I've kind of been scared about that. Otherwise, I wouldn't be. Uh, hey, I was right with Gara. All right. Zigzag, you you showed me the AMVs last year. Manga. Yeah, I need to I need to read some more. It's very true. Reading is fantastic. All right, let me um, let me check that out. I don't know if the uh, I have to change this a little bit. Hold up. 
um, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to figure out my software how to show my other screen uh, so I can check this thing out. Any second now, I'll figure it out. Do a window capture. All right, so you guys should be able to see that. Um, let me check out. Also, I don't know if the audio is going to come through, though. That's what I'm kind of scared about. So you said... I feel blind right now. I'm just seeing a whole lot of words, all the things that have been said in this chat, and I can't find... Oh, here we are. Is this it? Why well, you have way more followers on TikTok? Yeah, I have like 160, I think. But TikTok, it's like I was very confused when I was getting the followers. TikTok is very, very weird. I don't know how their like algorithm works for discovering you and like I don't know, it's crazy. I had a video get like almost 17 million views, and it was a video that took me 15 minutes to put together. I've never put in such not, not, I don't want to say little effort, but like little time, right? Like 15 minutes and have it be viewed so widely. So that was kind of crazy. And I probably got like 50,000 viewers just from, or followers just from that. Um, so is this, you want me to go to, can I, let's see. Um, all right, I'm going to search for the channel. Will that work? Our current's probably, uh, <laughs> I swear I'm not like completely uh, techno te technologically illiterate. Um, I'd like to think I kind of know what I'm doing, but none of these are you, right? I'm not seeing the same. Uh... Is this it? No. Uh oh. Or try lovely. Does no fat make you jump higher? Um. It could. It could also just be all in your head. That's a good question. Um, I mean, I want to say it's all in your head, but I don't think it's gonna have like a direct like correlation to like make you jump higher. But it's probably like it's not a bad thing to practice. Like it's 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 good discipline. I think any any aspect of your life where you can like work on discipline is is gonna improve you. Um, and I my, my my favorite anime that I've watched is One Punch Man. Uh, I've only seen the first season though. I haven't watched the second season. But the first season, I, I loved it. Current lovely, current lovely MV or current stick out. Let me try that. One. I'm probably even saying current wrong. But uh, okay, here we go. So is this a video you want me to watch? Or you just posted it. What else we got? Hold up. And also, can can you guys hear sound? Is it? I think there should be some.
Damn. All right. So I don't know if you guys could hear that. That was pretty dope. I hope I don't get like copyrighted for anything. Um, I thought I liked. I thought that was dope. I really appreciate like any type of like video editing. Um, so that was that was cool. Um, but uh, um, Chubbs, I did it like a little bit like uh, like my freshman year in college. Um, I've done it like I've I've tried to do like on and off. It's like definitely difficult. But it's not like impossible. But um have you? Be no boy, nah man, it's not a shoe, bro. It's better than a shoe. But uh yo, I might I might actually have to start watching Demon Slayer because that looked that looked really cool. Looked very cool. What's your vert and how tall are you? Um so I've measured myself. Uh, most recently I measured myself like under 5'9 without shoes on I'm literally I think I don't know if it changes day by day but I'm I like to say I'm 5'9 without shoes on and then the shoes just add however much they add whether that's you know an inch or three quarters of an inch whatever it is so I mean I, I generally say like I'm 5'9 without shoes and then with shoes on I'm 5'10 but my standing reach is about seven eight and a half or seven nine so that means for me to touch the rim, I essentially have to jump. Just to like touch 10 feet, I have to jump. Quick math, very slow math, obviously. Like 26 inches, did I get that wrong? 24? No. Wow. 28 inches. 27 to 28 inches. Let's say that. <laughs> and then to dunk is another six or so inches so i'll vert i think to dunk to just like squeeze it in i have to jump around 33 inches off vert or off an approach other hobbies besides dunking and editing man i've been trying to get a lot of uh i mean i'm i'm, I'm hoping to get a, a job um in like software engineering or software development or something i'm kind of interested in like the IT field um, but I really like playing around with like programming stuff um, Python is what I've been learning so far uh, the programming language uh, a little bit of Java and ooh, what else do I like that might be it bro I'm a kind of I'm kind of a boring person Five nine for dunkers, six foot on Tinder, hell yeah. I actually made like I went to Arizona a couple weeks ago and I made a uh like a bumble profile. And I think I said I was like five eleven and I was like, damn, if I actually like meet up with any of these girls, it's gonna be it was a little bit of a stretch, so. And yeah, I think I think my uh I think my seven nine was like or seven eight and a half was pretty full reach. Like I've never tested over seven nine and like I've been reaching pretty pretty uh aggressively oh yeah and the 7.9 is with shoes on so are you wearing any, any new dunks mm. not really I haven't dunked in far too long but um, I've been getting like a lot a lot better I think jumping right left as like I'm naturally a left right jumper so I just want to get like an East Bay off dribble right left I know I could be just hammering those out and then for like off vert, I have like the reverse windmill, 180 windmill off vert that I want to hit on 10 feet. And yeah, but I actually emailed like the athletic director. I'm going to email the athletic director at my um, old high school just to see if I can get in. There's no real gym in the area that I can get into. But if I could somehow finesse this with like COVID going on, that would be the biggest blessing. How many girlfriends you have? Currently, oh, currently I'm juggling a couple, couple things, you know, um, but nah, I'm not, nobody, nobody right now, solo dolo currently, you still going for the Olympics, I guess I had that dream, I wouldn't say it was like a serious, serious dream, I always thought I could go pro, um, but it'd be so hard, I feel like at this point without a coach, but I'm definitely, I'm, I'm definitely still planning on like long jumping and triple jumping, 
I'm not a Olympic Olympic uh, material, but I definitely I would love to go pro. I mean, if possible, if I could find like an organization and somebody to coach me, and then. But even before that, I'm still going to keep on competing once COVID clears up. Does size matter, Chubbs? The hacker asked. Um, I would say no. I mean, it's like, I feel like I'm not I'm not the person to ask just because, like, I, I mean, it, it all depends. Of course, I think, like, to some people it does, right? Like, you can't be like, oh, like, it never matters. But it doesn't really, I would say. Like, in the grand scheme of things, if you have somebody who, like, really, really enjoys you, like, it doesn't matter. So, can you try a win off for? Oh, the kick up dunk is that? Is is the kick up dunk? When you say kick up dunk, I'm thinking about having the ball like between my feet and then jumping up, and kind of catching it, like between my legs and dunking. Is that the kick up dunk, or is the kick up dunk actually like kicking it? I don't know. Is that? Zigzag asking if I'm over seven. No comment. <laughs> no comment, Chubbs. But uh, I'll definitely, I'll definitely try a, I'll, I'll definitely try a win off vert. That'd be dope. Yeah, I feel like I thought this was about to be about me editing. I thought this was about to be about me dunking, bro. We're getting into some. Not that I mind, bro. This is cool. This is cool chilling, talking to you guys. Okay, yeah, yeah, Elijah Bonds, yeah, you're talking about that one? I've tried that. I think I actually have it, like, in my, um, let me see if I can actually find it. I mean, it, I, I didn't, um, it was a terrible, terrible attempt. I literally don't know my way around YouTube. But, um, it was either here or it was here. But anyways, it's a really bad attempt. I'm gonna try and find it real quick. Was it here? No way I find this. No way. Oh no, I think it's right here. All right, and I did I did terribly. Oh, wait, I'm confused. Or is this it? Oh, okay, this is where, like, I try to... This is the only... Yeah, I mean, the coordination with it is ridiculous, but... Um, I I definitely try that again, definitely, like, on a lower hoop. I mean, this this rim is, like... This is, like, 9-9, nine, nine, if that. Maybe, like, 9-8.5. Um, but, yeah, I definitely want to try that eventually again when offer is even harder than offer the bounce dunk offer I, I feel like the bounce dunk offer on 10 feet has to be literally like impossible but do you ever do upper body when lifting man um yeah i like um my 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 chest i don't think it's like small but like it's it's terrible um but yeah, no, I mean, I've been lifting. I've been lifting pretty consistently for the past, like, three weeks. Um, and I mean, like, in the in the grand scheme of things, like, over the last, like, whatever, five, six years, I've been lifting um, pretty consistently. Not, like, not like every, you know, week, but I'll go, like, like over, the, like, the years I've been at least, like, several times, like, in a month. But there are ta there have been times where I've been, like, like, COVID, when COVID hit, like, I didn't, don't think I actually stepped foot in a gym or did any, like, real stuff for, like, two two or three months um but i was still outside i was still jumping i was still whatever but yeah i'm trying to get my bench up and then get bigger arms bigger shoulders stuff kind of like that how would you raise your eyes rather um i would give myself like out of a ten, one, zero to ten, I I mean I guess it depends, right? Like as as like a dunker, like as like an exhibition dunker, I feel like I have like very very close to like ten, ten type um ability. Um, in terms of like track, right? Like I'm probably like a six or a seven, seven, 
maybe. Um, but yeah, no, I, I'm definitely like blessed genetically. Um, I'll never like argue that like I came from nothing. But at the same time, uh, I've definitely gone through like a lot of, you know, struggle. Like I've doubted myself quite a bit. Um, I've, I don't know, like a big thing, like I like to think about, even though they're two different things like track and dunking, like during my whole track career, like I came in, I came in like my freshman year of college and I was so sure that I was going to be jumping so much further than I was. And I was kind of working towards that and it never really panned out until my senior year. Um, so, I mean, just that, like, like for that, for track stuff, I really, 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 um, had to work. Um, dunking, I think came a little bit more natural to me. Uh, I've always had gigantic legs. Um, like I have a video of me like triple jumping as a senior in high school and my legs, I mean, they weren't gigantic, but like they're a little thick, which I think helps with jumping off for, um, tips on the windmill. I would say, I would say number one, if you can make sure you're jumping, if you're jumping right, left, you want to finish the windmill with your right hand. And if you're jumping left, right, finish the windmill with your left hand. Um, other than that, you want to use the hand that's not dunking to really push the ball like down and around. I can't quite, uh, you want to make sure, right? You push if the ball, you push it back with your non dunking hand and then you finish it um, with your hand. And I think I've noticed I'd have to look at more videos, but I feel like I've noticed people that kind of don't do the full, like, like you might be hindering yourself, your ability to dunk a little bit when you don't do the full, um, motion of the windmill, cause you're not quite getting it into the right position. Like if you do the full windmill motion and push and like your hand at the end of it will be in like a good position to dunk rather than doing like a small little windmill and then trying to like get your hand up. It's a lot easier. I think more efficient in the end if you just go through the whole motion. Wow, that was long-winded. I really... <laughs> um, so are my parents athletic? Yeah, I think my parents are actually pretty damn athletic. My mom um, my mom was um, at one point um, training for, like, Team Nigeria's uh, swim team um, before she was injured, something like that. And um, my dad's pretty athletic. He likes to brag about, like, how he's always, like, the fastest and whatever, which is kind of cap, but, like... He just does that. I'm not saying he wasn't like fast, I'm sure, but uh, he likes to talk about himself like he was at like an elite, like Olympic level. Um, but other than that, I mean, like they're still like in great shape currently. Like my dad's 60 now, I think, and he's still like he can like jump and run. He's like a sturdy, sturdy six year old, 60 year old. Same thing with my mom. Have I ever gotten into a fight? Man. The last fight I got into, like, seriously, sort of. Other than, like, my boy at college, which was, like, some play shit, which is kind of funny. But, um, I got in a fight in fifth grade because this dude took my, uh, my digital disposable camera. And he wouldn't give it back to me. Um, we were on, like, some, like, little school trip. Like, at, a, like, at, like, a little camp. So, like, I got up behind him and, like, I tried to, like, put him in a headlock. Like, I was punching him in the head. And uh, I think I got my camera back. I don't really remember well, but I haven't really been in many, uh, many fights. Were you Nigerian? That's uh, that's why you're athletic. Every Nigerian I know is athletic. Yeah, no, it's definitely um, it's definitely a common theme. Um, so hey, I'm blessed. Any tips for beginners in dunking? <laughs> Number one, just make sure. Make sure you're jumping. I know, like, at least for me, like, I feel like it's easy to get, like, kind of, kind of drawn away. Like, right, you see, like, all these jumpers and, like, you think they might be doing something special that you don't want to know, like, that you don't know about. Um, and you kind of want to wait to figure out exactly what it is that they're doing so you can copy it. But honestly, like, the best thing to do is just go out there and, like, do your own thing, right? As long as, like, if you want to be a better dunker or start out dunking, dunk like on low rim specifically, and then build from there. But that's how you get started. You get started by enjoying it and then just going out and trying to do it, I would say. 
Nigerians are OP. That's kind of facts. Let's see. <laughs> Tips on jumping with two feet. Um, man, I have, if you guys, what? Um, wow, I need to post more. I'm so sorry. This was eight months ago that I posted a video. But this is this is literally... This is like, I feel like this is the best thing you guys can do, trying to learn off, try, trying to learn how to jump off two feet. Again, I don't know if you can hear this, but what I'm doing right here, this is me practicing jumping right left. I'm naturally a left right jumper, um, but all I'm doing is I'm pushing off, like I'm not I'm not reaching with this front foot. All I'm doing is pushing off of this back foot, and then once you push off with that back foot everything else at least for me maybe i've done like a lot of reps so it's a little bit different for me but everything after like this push like it happens pretty naturally i push and then i want to stop myself and then that makes me go up so i think i think like a lot of things that people see when um when people like talk about like your penultimate step and like how it needs to be longer and stuff everybody tries to like reach with their front foot but it's not it's not a reach it's never a reach like, a, you're not trying to leap forward or anything. All you're doing is trying to stay kind of up tall, and then you're pushing with your back foot, and then everything will kind of come together after that. So it's nothing that you should really try to force. So you'll see right here. Push, and then I stop myself, and I go up. Um, but yeah, I, another tip is just start with, like, zero steps, or, like, one step, step one step into it, and then kind of build back into the approach. Um, and it should just start to feel more natural over time and with reps and stuff like that. So any tips for the first time having sex? Um, just, uh, uh, find, find, find somebody you really, you really dig, be safe and just, just go with the flow. Don't overthink it. Um, it'll probably be like awkward, but, uh, it's chill. But not that I know. I don't know. So, yeah. How am I on fun foot? I am trash. I am booty cheeks. I am horrendous. I am, man. Um, it depends. I think I don't have, like, a very set um, one foot technique. So I feel like once I really get my, like, one foot technique, like, solid. Because I, I do a bunch of different things. Like, I've tried to play around with, like, kind of a speed jumping type thing. But I think I'm definitely more, probably get higher with a uh, more power jump, spending more time on the ground type of one foot jump. So if I was able to, and, and honestly, I think I do, I kind of do like a hybrid between the two. So if I, if I really tried to focus on one, um, I think it'd be a little bit better, but it's, it's nowhere near my two foot, two foot ability. Yo, Chubb's going crazy, bro. <laughs> All right. Um, what type of females am I into? Man, um. I don't know, I like, I, I want to, I always like to say, like, I'm attracted to, like, attracted girls, attractive girls, um, I wouldn't even really say I have a preference, but if anything, I would say, like, I like, I like, like, athletic girls, um, I like, I guess I'm more of, like, a brunette brunette darker hair um what else i guess i don't i guess i height range five six to five two i don't know i don't know if that answers uh answers your question no problem brahim thank you for the question my boy I feel like my groin is pretty messed up at this point. Maybe by over pushing P-step. That's possible. Um, groin problems. I had a crazy groin issue, which I guess is sort of resolved. Honestly, I would try and do... Um, what seemed to help me was either doing... Like, I'd lay flat on my stomach zigzag, and I'd, like, lift my leg up and kind of like extend my hip and squeeze my glute 
um, and I kind of do like an isometric hold like that or also or I also do like at the gym there's like the hip adduction hip adduction machine where you kind of squeeze your legs together um, so I do kind of like an isometric like that 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 helped a little bit um, other than that make sure like you're warmed up and you're all stretched and stuff but obviously I don't think you want to like stretch like a, a muscle or like something that's already been strained any tips for landing when dunking? I always injure my knee. Um, wow, I can't. I can't say I've really done much in. Let's see how I landed right here. I mean, this isn't like a. Any tips for landing? I don't know. I historically, I am not a great lander, um, so I can't say much about that. Um, I guess if you want to be like the safest and you're jumping off two feet and you can like hang on the rim, then like hang on the rim and like let your self down slowly, bend your knees. Um, but other than that, I mean, you kind of just want to build up your body so it's like ready to handle that type of, uh, that type of impact. But obviously it's gonna, it's gonna take a toll eventually. But obviously it can be, I think it can be like limited, like mitigated through the risk or the injury. Um, so yeah, just make sure your quads are strong, your hamstrings, everything's balanced. And I mean, yeah, you could probably have some underlying knee issue, but that's surprising if it just hurts from uh, landing and not jumping. Maybe you just need to like sink into it a little bit more. Bro, I'm sorry, I just get bored of these boring dunk questions. No, I got you, I got you, Chubbs. I appreciate the questions. So you're more into white girls. I wouldn't say I'm more into white girls. I know I said like that like brunette thing, um, but um, nah. Again, I'm attracted to attractive girls. That's all I can say. Um, any girl can dunk on me. I will marry her. That'd be crazy. I don't think I don't think I'd marry a girl that could dunk on me. I might have to. If there was video evidence of that too, oof, ugh, I'd have to, I'd have to go into hiding or something, dude. Why you do the height range backwards? Yeah, uh, yeah, my bad. I meant to say five two to five six, but um, sometimes my brain just doesn't work. This is very new to me, reacting to these live questions, so I'm, I'm a little bit on edge right now. What's your best lift? My best lift is easily, uh, I mean, my back squat. It, this was this was almost like two years ago now, but I was about one. Is this still recording? Oh shit! Yo, I know you guys can still hear me. I think um, my camera just got messed up. Anyways, uh, so the question was. Oh, oh yeah, I did like 365 at around um, my back. All right, I did 365 at around like 165 back squat, and then I also front squatted that same day, 315, 315 pounds. Um, so the squat's my best lift. Are your boobs or ass type of guy? I guess currently, probably, probably, probably the behind, probably the butt cheeks. Got to go for it. Damn, didn't let him know. Didn't know that. Didn't let a brother know you're about to stream, bro. I I know you got my notifications on, so I don't really know that. But I'd like to think that you have my notifications on, and that I never have to tell my boys to come watch me stream. Um, but shout out Son. If anybody sees Son in the chat, he's my uh, former roommate, former teammate, former triple jumper. Um, anyways. Jay Clark or, or Chris Staples? I got to go with Jay Clark. Um, I just like... I feel like Staples is like a staple in the game, but like Jay Clark, I don't know. That stuff about Jay Clark being like 10th on Chris Staples' like list of dunkers, I thought that was kind of wild. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with, uh, with uh, Jay Clark. But much respect to like... Chris Staples is crazy. Like his consistency and like... 
his dunk his dunk his dunk package is crazy. But Jay Clark I think has a little more potential and I think he's a little bit more of like an exciting dunker, regardless of how many, you know, dunk contest wins he's had. Have you heard of Jake Tura? Yeah, I have. Um I think I've watched a couple of po- his podcasts. Um but yeah, that's I really like uh pages like that. Um he's very kind of evidence based kind of driven thinking um which I which I like. Cal said you just land, bruh. Damn. He's talking to you, Bino Boy. Yo, also is Bino Boy, is that supposed to be Childish Gambino? That was like my favorite uh artist for a while. He's still a very good artist. Even though he hasn't Damn, he keeps on dying. Alright, um How's my thing too high? How do I cool this down? Um have you ever done any drugs? Um Let's see. Drugs, like, I mean, I've been on, like, medication. Um, Nothing serious. Um, uh, No comment, Chubbs. (laughs) Good thing you can't see my face right now. Um, You should watch Jordan Sutherland for one foot jumping. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a big fan of Jordan. He's, uh, he's ridiculous. He's stupid elite. And, yeah, I'll probably tune into some more of his stuff. As my, uh, how do I get my camera to stop overheating is my question. Anyways, um. You should watch Jordan Sutherland. This live is fun, though. Thank you. I'm trying. I mean, the, hey, maybe. Oh, shit. Maybe I'll do this again. I'd love to, like, react. Like, if any of you guys have, like, dunking videos, I'd love to, like, react. Um, do something like that. Just check him out. Um, and, yeah. Appreciate everybody for coming, chatting. This is really cool. I wasn't expecting there to be so much activity. I wasn't expecting Chubbs to come out here and interrogate me on uh, on all these topics, but I love it. Um, yo, Zigzag, you can do, you can do anything, bro. I, 2021, I want to see you just throwing down some East Bay's windmills, bro. You're right there. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, the, the 360 BTL and this, and the slingshot. And also he has like his Christ Air. Or is it just Chris Air? I don't know. Christ Air, whatever. It's very impressive. Rapping, rapping or singing. Um. If you're asking about like what kind of music I like, I like both. Um, I'm kind of into uh, I don't know this uh, this kind of I don't know what it's called, but like Chelsea Cutler, Jeremy Zucker, like Elenium type electronic music. But then also I like rap. I'm a really big fan of like Saba, Chance, um, Childish Gambino, um, Mick Jenkins. Those are my favorite artists right now. Trippy Red. Trippy Red's my favorite artist. I went to a concert last year in February. Hey, Billy, what's good, bro? Oh, this is awesome. Um, Chi, break down my jump technique, please. All right, I could look into that. Again, I'm not an expert in any of that stuff, but I mean, I can, I can, uh, I can check it out and try and. But from what I've seen, your 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 technique looks very good. Looks very solid. You should do a podcast with Jake Tura. I'd I'd love to. I'd probably make a fool of myself, but um maybe I'll uh I should I just I should honestly hit him up and ask him for some uh for some tips on my own podcast or at least um just to share some of his knowledge. I should stream more. I definitely want to. Um I really want to I got the PS5. I was really want to try and stream like 2K. The quality isn't very good when I try and stream it though, so I don't know. Um and other than that, I play Warzone, but again, yeah, I kind of want to just maybe just chill, chat be on YouTube, react, react to some of your guys' videos, um, stuff like that. Would you rather fight Mike Tyson for 48 hours or fight a tiger for two minutes? <sighs> I feel like in either situation, you just die, right? At the end of that, you're dead. I guess with a tiger, oh. 
I survive a tiger for two minutes? 120 seconds? I don't know. I wouldn't want to live, bro. If I got attacked by a tiger, I'd be pretty messed up. But 48 hours in a ring with Mike Tyson? If I could run away from Mike Tyson? Maybe. I think I could, I think I could keep Mike Tyson at bay. Like, I think I could run, like... I'd bust out, like, a five-and-a-half-minute mile getting away from Tyson. And then... I guess I'd pick Tyson. I don't know. It's too hard. So what did it feel like, like to go viral for the first time? Um, I don't know. The, the, the first time I really went viral? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it feels good. It's like... And it always surprises me every time, like, I have a video and I get, like, new followers. Because I'm always like, okay, this is the limit. Like, I have you know, 5,000 followers, I have 10,000 followers, like, this is the limit, and then another video gets posted, and it's like, oh, shit, this is not the limit, but I guess it feels good, um, and yeah, let's see, but yeah, no, when I got posted, like, on Ball's Life at Dunk Camp for doing, like, a 180 windmill, that was really cool. That was really, really cool. You got any tips to get rid of Jumper's knee? Um, I would look at... I would look at... Um, I would just look into, like, isometrics. Isometric training is uh, pretty beneficial, I think, for, you know, keeping jumper knee, Jumper's knee at bay. Uh, but you kind of want to identify whether it's, like, patellar tendonitis or, like, quad tendonitis, and then work from there. But generally, right, you you stop doing the thing that makes it hurt. Um, and then you kind of start loading it with, you know, isometric exercises. And then you get back into jumping from there. But it's definitely like a process that you kind of need to calculate and um, take your time with. Do you think Mike Tyson could dunk if he trained for it? How old? Isn't he like 55 right now? How old is he? I don't know. And he's what, like 5'10"? Oh, okay. Somebody asked me. Uh, what other, um, how old is this man? He's 54 and 5'10". Um, I don't, damn, I, I don't know if he could dunk right now, but I'm sure in his, in his earlier years, probably, most likely. Most likely. Dude, my computer, my camera is just gonna but um another one of my interests like other than dunking and um if anybody can hear me if you guys are over the age of 18 i think you can only do it when you're 18 plus but another one of my interests interests other than dunking and editing whatever um programming i really really um like investing um and this isn't just like a new thing oh shit I don't know if you guys, it's going to cut off. Anyways, this isn't like I've been doing it for a little while. Um, but I'm kind of big into investing. I'm trying to build up a couple portfolios and eventually pay some bills from uh, some dividends from stocks. And that's what I like. And am I trying to do any dunk contests? Yeah, eventually. I think dunk, cost, gun, oh, dunk contests are amazing. It's like, it's it's kind of like a... It's like a do or die thing not a do or die but like it's just like a time to step up which is really important for growing as an athlete um so yeah i hope i hope to in the future um i don't know if i'm gonna have or where exactly i'll find that opportunity i'm mean, definitely at the dunk camp 2021 as long as that holds um but yeah absolutely plan to do more dunk contests But, yeah. All right, well, um, <clears throat> I guess that was a successful stream, more successful than I thought. Sheesh. Appreciate y'all for coming out. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys hopefully soon. I want to make more YouTube videos because I enjoy it. But uh, anyways, thank you guys. Peace. Got to figure out how to stop this.